Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Diane and my passion is painting and creating nature-inspired watercolours in my studio, which are easy for you to do too. I share all my paintings with you on YouTube and on our website, dianeanton.com, you can find free downloadable sketches for all the videos to help you make the most of your painting journey. And if you'd like a little bit more, we also have channel memberships with loads of perks for you to enjoy. So welcome on board, click subscribe and turn on notifications and let's learn to paint watercolour. So I'm going to do a card today and possibly a gift tag. And um, my theme is going to be <coughs> this, which I've um, been working on designing this morning. We've got, um, we've got here um, opium poppy seed heads. We've got honesty and we've got, um, what are they called? Cape gooseberries, which are these um, kind of papery things. So we've got three sort of papery things, which I thought was kind of appropriate because we're working with um, handmade paper. So these are papery things on, on paper. And uh, so to do this, I've decided to take a piece of, this is Etival, this is uh, good quality 140 pound watercolor paper, but it's nothing too precious. So it doesn't matter uh, that I'm not going to actually paint on it. Um, and I've cut a square of watercolor paper, of uh, handmade paper here. And um, I'm going to, it's quite an irregular one. It's got a lot of texture in it, as you can probably see. Um, there's a, a nice little lump there of something. I'm not sure what that is, uh, <clears throat> but various different bits and pieces of vegetable matter in that paper. It looks like it's been scorched on that side a bit, or in fact, on the way through, but it's not scorching. That's just um, aging. So it's got a few wear and tear marks on it. So anyway, I thought that would probably be interesting anyway to to do. So I'm going to put that there. Then I'm going to cut this so that we've got a square card. So I'll just measure this way is almost 15 centimeters. So we'll go this way, 15 centimeters. Let's just find a pencil. And just measure that and I'll cut it. And then this piece that we're going to cut off, um, we, we're not going to waste it. We can use it for a little gift tag. And we can do the same thing on there. I shouldn't really be cutting on my painting board, should I? I don't know. We can cut this a little bit smaller and put a piece of watercolour, sort of handmade paper um, on here, like that kind of thing, sort of. I'll just take a piece and then we can do a design on there and make that into a little gift card as well, make a hole there. So we'll come to that later. So now we've got our square card and that's going to be on top like that. So now I'm going to just uh, draw the design on here and um, I've st <clears throat> excuse me, started off with uh, the uh, opium poppy head and I'm working with a uh, Stettler pigment liner. This is point one. And uh, so that's, that's the first one. And then we'll put another stalk in here. I just wanted to try that off camera, first of all, because I wasn't sure if the um, if the pen was going to work on this paper, but it does, so that's okay. So now we'll draw the second one. And then I'm going to have honesty just meandering up the page like this. And 
and then I thought I would have Cape gooseberries, which are, I don't know, they look like little lanterns or something. And I have another one down here. Just draw a heart shape, really, and then you have the stalk coming out like that. And sometimes when they're nearly ripe, they have, you can see the berry on the inside, which is an orange circle. And um, I'm going to put, let me see, another honesty up here. see how that goes. Might need to add some more, just have to see how it goes. And uh, for paint I'm using my Starry, Starry, what's it called? Starry Colours by Kurataki, that's these ones here. And um, also probably um, this is uh, Daniel Smith um, what do they call them? Primatech colours. And in here there is some of the pink, which, oh my god, I can't remember these names. What's it called? Uh, rhodonite. Rhodonite in there to give a sort of pink. And, oh yes, and the orange, which is the most important. That's that one there. So, because the brightness needs to be established first. We'll pick up some orange. I'm using just a, any old uh, watercolour brush here. This is a draw well brush, but it's their cheap student version. So any round nylon brush will do. So I'm just going to paint in here the orange, bright orange seed head, seed rather, and then using the same colour I'm going to put in some orange on the top of these. Now you don't want to use too much water on this paper. But what you can do is you can then pick up gold. And because these are a kind of golden colour, you can add the gold on top. And you can get, because the paper is very textured, you get a textured result which is quite nice. More orange around the back there. And then if you want you can paint in a stem or you can come back with the pen. But I think it's quite nice if you do that in sort of gold or silver. Okay and then the this one which is an older one it's um, showing the berry which is in the inside. That one's sort of translucent. So we'll come in with the silver, which I think, I don't know what that's called, champagne gold. And paint over that and you can just see it through like that. And then we'll put the stem in. Maybe put one or two touches of gold. I think I want to actually make that a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to put another couple of what's it's in there and then come in with a bit more silver. Platinum, sorry, platinum. Okay, and then 
the other one is going to be orange as well, up here. A perfect texture for this. And then we'll have the gold on top this time, all over like that. Okay, so that's our three little cape gooseberries. Now, using the same colour, I'm going to go into the um, this colour here, which is, uh, oh, I don't know what it is. What is that one called? Uh, I must learn these. I need to go home tonight and sit down and learn them. That's Piemontite. Hi, Montite. Whatever. Uh, right. So we want to do the seed poppy seed heads. And the stalk. And then we'll put some silver on top. Sorry, I keep calling it silver, but it's, it's platinum, it's much more expensive. And this one the same. Soaks up a lot of water, of course. But then it would, wouldn't it? And if we want a bit more colour on that stem, we just get some more of the Daniel Smith. that up a little bit. thing is the honesty which we'll do using the uh, champagne gold. Pop that in, a bit more water. And then probably because these these have a sort of dark seed inside them, so we can do that using the the um, um, <laughs> the hematite hematite mixed with a bit of the silver platinum to make a grayish shiny gray for the little seeds that are inside like that. And then we need to do the stems, so some shiny colour. Very thin. You could use a um, gold pen for this too if you wanted. I can't find mine at the moment, I don't know where I've put it. brighter. Get 
in this a little bit too. This is, uh, what's this called? This one is Permanent Vermilion. This orange, in case you were wondering what color that is. I want to lighten those up a little bit. Okay, so let's let them dry and see what's what. So I've added a few more bits and pieces of red there and now I'm going to do some spatter, some gold spatter. And then I'm going to let that dry and I'll stick it down onto the paper. And now I'm just curious as to how this would work out if I did the drawing onto just the watercolour paper. So this is the Etival. And uh, this is just a, a kind of experiment, because because why not? I'm really fascinated with these uh, Cape gooseberries. Especially the ones with the seeds in the middle. The other ones are interesting too. Honesty. See how that works. Same paints. Put that in the middle. It was the lighter colour that I wanted for that one, wasn't it? This one, it's gold down the bottom. And orange at the top. And then I'm going to use the gold and a little bit of amethyst for these. And then the honesty well, I think that has to be champagne gold as well, doesn't it?
And then a little bit of gold spatter. So I'm just going to put some uh, quick stick or glue stick all around the outside edge of this. A little bit in the middle. I used um different kind of glue last time but I think this would work probably just as well especially for the purposes of now which is just to stick it on there so that I can open it and of course you can if you want put a piece of paper inside to write your message on as well or you can leave it just like that and uh, I've added a little few more bits and pieces on here and um, some more berries and um, so on and so forth and a few more touches of gold uh, and uh, yeah so it worked out okay on ordinary paper you can buy a uh, handmade paper better than this on Amazon there's lots of it available and uh, so that's something that you might want to consider um, I'm thinking I might make some at some point in the near future, if I can remember how. It's been an awful long time. So there we are, that's that done. Um, a little gift tag, perhaps. Well, you could even use that as a message because there's room in there to write. You could punch a hole in the top if you wanted to and attach it as a, as a card, or you can use it as a greetings card or whatever. And the whole design can be adapted and I think it would make really nice bookmarks. And I think I'm going to make some bookmarks for myself with these little gold things on because I think they're really rather cute. And the other thing I'm going to have to do is arrange some system for not having the camera shaking when I touch the table in my enthusiasm. So there we are. I'll let you go now. Thanks very much for watching. Please give us a like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you again soon. So bye everybody. Bye bye. And bye bye from Russell and Arthur. Bye everyone.